So I'm not even saying that they're better than a Bedford Reimagine, but I'm not not saying that. What is good everybody, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Jordan 4 Military Blue 2024. This is a sneaker that's gotten quite a bit of attention as of late, getting many, many comparisons to the 2012 predecessor and even sneakers that have recently released, such as the Pine Green Jordan 4 SBs, as well as the Bread 4 Reimagined. For the purposes of today's video, we're gonna be taking a good look at these sneakers. We're gonna review them, talk about them in detail, and to round things off, I will be sharing my personal thoughts on this sneaker, as well as potential resell predictions. But just before we jump into it, I did wanna let you know about my watch company known as Aura. Recently launched, Aura is a company that aims to absolutely shake up the watch market, offering you luxury timepieces that are comparable to some of the most expensive watches on the planet, but for a fraction of the price point. We're talking high-grade stainless steel, sapphire glass face, and a ruby-filled automatic bi-directional self-winding movement that can hold up to an 80-hour power reserve. All this in addition to the fact that these watches are fully modular. So go ahead and check them out. I will provide a link below with an auto-popular custom discount code just for you my locust wild honey community as i mentioned in the past this is going to be the best way to support me as a content creator as i don't take sponsors here on the channel for whatever that's worth but anyways back to the sneakers to start things off i'm actually very surprised that these are a lot less similar to the 2012 version of the military blue than i initially anticipated Based on the pictures, I just thought this was going to be kind of a remake of that aforementioned sneaker, but for better or for worse, the shoe does have some subtle differences that I do feel like are very worth noting. The first one being is that the blue on this pair seems to be quite a bit darker than the 2012 pair. In addition to that, the base color that does constitute the shoe seems to be quite a bit different than the 2012 in the sense that it isn't a pure white, but rather is replaced with a white that kind of seems to have a hue of almost like a turtle dove like a very very subtle light gray now i'm not saying these differences are better or worse this is really a subjective matter but it's something that i thought that was worth highlighting as while subtle i do find these differences to be pretty noticeable at least in hand now for this Jordan 4 in particular, we are greeted with that same sleek updated silhouette that we've come to know and love, featuring the new slightly trimmed down mudguard that is comprised of this really nice new buck material, which in my opinion does play really well against the blue. I love the gray that they use for the mudguard. It's overall a very, very complimentary shoe. Moving up through the sneaker, we have some pretty nice quality smooth leather that does constitute a majority of the upper. Working our way over to the lateral side panel, of course we have the iconic netting that we know and come to love with the Jordan 4 just under it is some blue mesh and that's complemented by another Jordan 4 staple that is the TPU eye stays that is in that almost turtle dove light gray color which does transition to that deeper dark blue working our way to the back of the sneaker we have the iconic Nike Air logo which is definitely something we love to see on the Jordan 4 and it goes without saying that this is much much more preferential to that of the Jumpman logo. Similarly to the lateral side, the middle portion has kind of the same characteristics. And then for the inner lining, it's a very, very subtle, might not be able to tell. The inner lining does serve as a subtle contrast to that of the leather used on the outer portion as it is like a light gray. It's very, very subtle. It's probably hard to tell. And that complements the inner lining on the tongue. And of course, on the tongue, we have the same great leather that we see throughout the shoe, which is finished with a Jumpman and Flight logo. Finally, working away over to the midsole as well as the outsole, we have a standard system here, which is commonly found on the Jordan 4 encapsulated air sole unit here on the forefoot, as well as the air window here on the heel. Blue, white, and gray grace this pair. Very, very nicely done and very, very complimentary. I do find the sneaker to be very beautifully color coordinated. I think this is just an excellent color palette that all complements and works in uniform with one another, which is why I do believe this is going to be a very popular shoe this year. Now, as it pertains to sizing, I do highly recommend taking your true to size size in the sneaker. For me personally, I range anywhere from an eight and a half to a nine, generally a nine, 
These are a nine and they fit great. With that being said, the sneaker is set to tentatively release on April 27th at a retail price of $215. At that price point, I definitely say, go ahead and pick up a pair of these if you need a pair of Jordan 4s. The colorway, the color scheme overall is very, very clean. It's very, very wearable, which does lead us over to just my overall thoughts on this sneaker. It goes without question that I am a fan of the shoe. I think the color scheme is very nicely executed. Like this is actually a sneaker that you could literally wear with any style of outfit. Even if you're not trying to match, blue just goes with anything, whether you're rocking blue jeans, black jeans, these would even look dope with woodland camo. Uh, really the possibilities are endless when it comes to this sneaker in terms of outfits, so it's definitely something to consider. I do anticipate this shoe having some moderate resale pricing. The reason why I say that is because in my humble opinion, I do think that these are going to hit much, much harder than the bread for reimagined. Now I do say that knowing full and well the historical significance of the bread for and what that shoe actually means to sneakerheads. But guys, we are in a date and time, a time set right now where sneakerheads, sneaker enthusiasts are now outnumbered by, by casual sneaker users, just really in it for the trend. And I'm not saying anything negative about those people, but it's just a reality of the sneaker market currently. And typically what they tend to gear towards is sneakers that are more wearable despite historical significance. We see a reflection of that in the form of the military blacks. Those still go for a lot of money. We see them in the black cats. Those go for a lot of money. The SB4s commonly seen as last year's sneaker of the year. And I think this will be another sneaker whose resale price will be dictated by the masses. And what I mean the masses, not necessarily the sneaker community, but rather the public at large. I can definitely see this being a shoe worth investing in. That is not financial advice, that is just my own perspective. It's a very good shoe, very, very wearable. And for that reason, I do see a lot of people gravitating towards a sneaker. So I'm not saying these are better than the Bread 4s, but I'm not not saying they're better than the Bread 4s. But you guys let me know down below what you think about the Military Blue 2024 Jordan 4. I'd definitely be interested in hearing what you have to say in the comment section down below. Now, if the sneaker even slightly intrigues you, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. I'm definitely gonna be doing like an all-inclusive styling video, gonna be probably styling anywhere from 10 to 15 outfits featuring these shoes here. I'm thinking about doing a vlog video, taking them to the mall at different shops, maybe go vintage shopping. You guys let me know if that'd be something you'd be into. But yeah, I definitely wanna do a lot of content around these shoes because I'm gonna be honest with you, I spent way too much not to do so. So if you like these shoes, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But that's gonna do it for today's video. I'd like to thank you so much for stopping by the channel. It really is such a privilege of mine to get to serve you through making content as well as products, and I will never take it for granted. With that to say, I will catch you in the next upload. Peace and be blessed.